Okay, so now it's out of the oven and I went ahead and put my template back up on top of it while it was still right out of the oven. Maybe give it a two or three minutes so you don't burn yourself. But just lay your template right back on top of here because it will spread a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Take your sharp knife and just go along your template and, and just level it up a little bit so that it's nice and, and your, your edges are nice and clean. Okay, so that's that. And see how what a nice texture it got on here? And see, I baked this quite a ways. It's a little bit, it's, it is a little, still a little soft, but that's going to be good for, um, good enough. So there we go. Now we're going to start to um, do our embellishments a little bit. And for that, we're going to use fondant. Which one did I do with my fondant? Here it is. Um, any color, really, because we're going to paint it. So I had this uh, kind of a reddish brown color. So I just want to get it nice and soft. OK. So we're just going to roll this fondant out just so we have some nice strips. It has a couple of strips here in the middle, so we want to start with those to kind of give us our bearings. And I, for this, I like to use uh, bamboo skewers. They're just the cheap little ones you get, but it's a nice thickness of, uh, for the fondant. So we'll start with that, try to get it down to that. That way it kind of keeps everything uniform and even, and this little, <laughs> this little rolling pin is funny. Okay, so it's not really, you know, rocket science here. So let's just, uh, just cut a couple of good strips, cut the fat part off of there, and then we'll just cut a couple of nice strips with our pizza cutter. Okay, a couple of good strips here, and make them relatively even. That would be the way it would work out the best. So, okay. So we're just gonna lay it on here. And that's pretty centered. So just come back with your pizza cutter and trim it off. Okay, so we're, we're going to decorate the front of this, of this box because it's the most ornate piece and it really needs to get finished before you ever even put the box together. So I have these two strips here and on those strips are some little, um, little oval uh, embellishments. So I'm just going to cut a bunch of those out. Each strip gets like six of them. So just start cutting these out. Okay, and just a little bit of water on here where you think they're gonna go, or you know they're gonna go, where you're gonna put them. And it will stick pretty well with just water. So we're gonna put little dragees on the, I can't believe I said it like that, little dragees on the in between, so that'll look really cool. So that's the, that's how we're gonna do the, these lines here to decorate them and make them look all pretty. Move on to a little, we use this little cutter a lot. It's part of a little mini tin set. It has, you know, little, all kinds of little stuff for these little things. It's really cool. So um, anyhow, so one more of those for this, just for the, the uh, thing here. Okay, and then we're gonna take a, uh, just a really large piping tip and we want this part. This is our circle that we're gonna use to put our little buttons on. So we just cut out four of those. or three, if that's all the room you have. And these are also going to get these little doodads on them. So we just cut a couple of those out. And this just adds, you know, it's all the details that everybody likes to see that they can't believe the time. Yeah, you can't believe the time kidding. It's actually a pretty simple cake for the most part. It's this, this is the most um, time-consuming part is just these embellishments. So, Okay, so then we're going to have one of these here and that'll go there and then we'll have another one here and then we're going to do a couple of strips in between here. So let's just uh, cut that out of this piece that we still have here. So doesn't have to be perfect. This is a thousand-year-old crate, so 
Um, if it's not completely perfect, that's really okay. So just pull it out of there. You know, straighten up your edges a little bit. Try to get it fairly neat. Sometimes the fondant started to dry a little bit, so it gets a little bit. So those will just go right here in the middle there. A couple of little doodads on that one. This is a little teardrop, and I just like to put those on the other side here. A little bit of water. Okay. There we go. And like I said, they're all going to be painted up and look really cool and pretty. So um, one last thing on this side, and then I'll just, I'm going to finish it up and start painting it.